Hello and welcome to Bedroom, home of softness, my boys. I'm your best friend, Cake, and today, for no particular reason, I'm gonna give you a Tsum tour. Long, long ago, one of you requested that I show off my Tsum Tsum collection, and I feel like it's time to do that now. You've been busy, I've been busy, I think we just need to do something soft and mild to unwind. Tsum Tsums have definitely fallen out of favor recently. I haven't been buying them because I'm not employed and I can't really justify spending money on adorable bean children. No, I can't. But I still go to the Disney store just because it's aesthetic. And I haven't been seeing them around lately. And I haven't been actively seeking them out online because temptation. I still love Tsum Tsums. I think they're perfect. Except for the humanoid ones, which I think are gross and weird. But this? This is perfect. I mean, this one's furious. Um, but still perfect. Is lighting gonna be an issue today? Let's see what we can't do. Way better. Nice job, me. My favorite Tsum Tsum is Donald. I think he just embodies everything that a good Tsum Tsum should. Still a snappy dresser. And you can see that his cheeks are ever so slightly blushed. Even though Donald is my favorite, I'm gonna endeavor to, to just show you everything as it gets pulled. But I actually wanna start with my large boy. This is my precious beanie boy, Donald. I sleep with him every night, so he does have a certain misshapen quality about him, but I think he looked great. The great thing about these jumbo sized ones is they're like the perfect size to like aggressively cuddle. He's my sweet, precious beanie boy. I love him the most. I said it. Sorry guys. It's true. I also have a medium sized Donald because like, why am I like this? This guy's good for just like whacking people, uh, just like gentle squeezing. I have been reading this book called Hey Whipple Squeeze This because I got an internship at an advertising agency and it was recommended reading. It was required reading, but I wanted to read it, so recommended. Way back in the 70s, there was a television commercial for Charmin and it was this grocery clerk named Mr. Whipple and he was always lamenting the fact that people were squeezing the Charmin, but he himself could not resist the allure of a good squish. That commercial was voted as the most hated commercial for a really long time, which is interesting because now there's ASMR and people specifically seek out squishing. I mean, really the squishing was not the issue. The issue was the guy was named Mr. Whipple and he was obnoxious and the women he was interacting with were obnoxious. Anyway, if the internship goes well, maybe I'll get a job there and be able to buy more Tsum Tsums to squish. These are different versions of Donald. I can't remember which one I got in Japan. That one might actually be at my partner's house. That one might actually be at my partner's house. Hey buddy, you looking very fresh today because I need to distribute these wherever I go. I won this angry one as a prize for best cord at a Lolita meetup. I was like, wow, apt. And still, this one's very fancy. He's got like embroidered, embroidery. Is this supposed to be Kingdom Hearts? I don't know, I never played that game. And I gather it's terrible. Anyway, I love you. Here's another Donald. Very rosy cheeks, very plump this one. Good, good texture on this boy. And his hat is jaunty to say the least. I love you. And here he is again with a different hat in a different little coat. Look at their little rumps. The, I, I, think, I think their rump might be like 30% of what does it for me here. Good face too. Who's this little guy? This is Winnie the Pooh, but he is in a Tsum Tsum onesie. Yeah, um, Disney Japan a couple years ago, and I think they might have done it this year as well. They released around Halloween time some onesies for the Tsum Tsums. I think they might have also done it around Easter. Doesn't matter. They didn't, I didn't need them. These though, oh yeah, 
clearly. This particular Winnie came in a Valentine's Day set where all of the little Tsum Tsums are dressed up to look like little chocolates. You get them in a box and it looks like you have a box of precious babies to um eat. I really like the colors on this, the sort of like banana yellow with the chocolate and the cute little heart cutie mark. I'm not a huge fan of Winnie the Pooh, but like, this is cute. I love you. And I love you, cat skin. Next we have a regular old Minnie. Just, I mean, she's, why, how could you have a collection without her? I don't know. And here's the Minnie from the Valentine's Day set. Again, dressed up like a little chocolate, little heart, cutie mark. And she is a nice brown, like sepia tone type of thing. Inventive, A++. Here's a little bat skin. I think there was a Donald in here that I took to my partner's house and just discarded this carcass in the basket. Ah. Here's a great one. This was for Year of the Rooster, Disney Japan. It is Donald dressed as a chicken and there's this little chicky that you can stick onto his butt, little little velcro patch and then the little chicky and you just like wow. It's attached with a string so you never lose it. This this is what I'm talking about. Like they've come out with some terrible Tsum Tsums. Just because I like Tsum Tsums doesn't mean I like everything they do. They do some awful stuff, but this is perfect. Well then, I love you. Here is a Dumbo. He's got a cute little mouse tail, the iconic little yellow hat, and yeah, his little his little trunk. Very cute. I was discussing the new live action Dumbo movie that's coming out with some friends, um, and Baby Mine is uh, an arcade fire song now, which. Uh, I'll leave, you Google it, you Google it. You know what? I'm gonna stay out of it. You Google it, you make your own decisions. I love you. Here's Thumper, rabbit. Uh, I bought this actually to give my friends when they moved. Uh, I bought it along with <sighs> Daisy, Rose, Rose, no, Daffodil. Uh, the skunk's name is Flower. Okay, Google. What's the girl rabbit in Bambi? No. Uh, there's a girl bunny in like Bambi 3 or something. I don't know, I never saw it, but this is her. I bought these for my friends and then I was like, hey, you know what? I'm keeping them. And it worked because they moved back. Magic. Mm, I just can't keep straight which one is Chip and which one is Dale. Chip sounds sillier, right? than Dale? It doesn't matter. Here's Chip and Dale. Again, from the Valentine's Day set where they're dressed up as little chocolates. I remember going to Disneyland the first time and there was like this breakfast with Chip and Dale thing. They were dressed as chefs and the waffles were shaped like their faces. I've never been into Chip and Dale, so I was like, okay. Meeting Ariel, that was, that was transformative. And Cruella, obviously. Here we have a Winter Donnell. I believe this was a Target exclusive. The quality is not on par with all the other stuff, but I couldn't resist him. He's extra fluffy. His hat is just unnecessary. Is he a snowman? I don't know. He just seems a little Ukrainian to me, and I'm Ukrainian, so I had to have him. And that's totally normal. Here's Jabba the Hutt. I think he's really cute. He's a, just a big fat slug. He's got a very dopey face and he is drooling. He's adorable. Yeah, I love you. Here's Donald in his chocolate suit. Like, it's just so detailed. The polka dots, the cutie mark, the bow, the heart strapped in there. And again, the, the sepia tone, they made him brown instead of black. And the mint with the chocolate, like that's such a dope color combo. I love you. Here is Mickey from a Valentine's Day set, but not the same Valentine's Day set. No, no, a completely different one. This one, they made them smell like chocolate. Old Valentine's Day set, new Valentine's Day set. Delightful, no matter how you look at it. And yeah, like so, so strongly scented of chocolate. Mm. 
Love you. Here's just your regular Mickey. It took me a long time to get a regular Mickey that wasn't weird looking. The issue with a lot of Tsum Tsums is that they are made in sweatshops, so the quality's not so great because the children are tired. It's not funny, but I'm making a joke about it anyway. I will often have to sift through like 10 different Tsum Tsums to find one with good confirmation, but uh, my struggle is worth it, you know? I'm sorry. Here is Piglet as a chocolate. I think they called this one in. Like, they really, with, with the other ones, like, this could be like a caramel, but like, what is this? I don't know. I just feel, I feel like they didn't try. I feel like they needed someone to go with Winnie, and they're like, Piglet, and they didn't, they didn't try, but I love you. So this Daisy is, uh, I mean, just objectively perfect. She's like a summertime Daisy. She's wearing this like vintage bikini with a peplum, polka dots, and you know those ridiculous rubber flower head hair, head, what, um, swim caps. Swim caps. Yeah, it's a, it's a rubber Daisy swim cap on Daisy. Her lashes are on point, her blush is popping, and just like, she's, she's ready. She's ready to sit by the pool, and I'm ready to kiss her snoot. I love you. Alright, we've been through a lot of Tsum Tsums, and it's getting hard for me to get to the rest because I'm neglecting some other very important stuffed animals. You've met the Dongo Rilakkuma, but he's still here. He's in a sleeping bag, Here's his little popsicle stick for all the delicious mochi. And his Odongo is, woah, seen some better days. That's something else that I've been avoiding looking at, Rulakuma stuff. But if I can really nail this internship, if I can put three months of really good work in and hopefully put out some projects that get some awards, they will hopefully offer me a full term position, then I'll have a salary and I'll kill it even more, but also get toys. Hey, look, another Rilakkuma toy. This one is a Halloween, uh, I forget his name. He's, um, he's the little, he's the little bear friend. So they've given him a cool tattoo. They've given him a cape. A fully lined cape, that's not excessive. Got some stars on it got a bow tie, he's a Dracula, and a snappy chapeau. He's such a nice texture, and I think his proportions are really good. Just, just one and one. Ugh, look, I, I forget this guy's name too. Ki, Kitori? Look at his little feet. Look at his little feet. They're so unnecessary. He is one of those wonderful Japanese imp demon bat things where they have wings but they also have other wings and they have ears but they also have antenna and he's carrying a little pumpkin. Mm, it smells like chocolate from being smushed up against the chocolate zooms. What a great day. Here is a princess Kurilakuma. She's got a sparkly hat. She's got a sparkly cape. She's got a strawberry purse with some pearls on it and just look at this bougie little bow. She also smells like chocolate. I like that with these, they keep their details as much as they can. Oh, she's so cute. Here's a super bizarre Korilakuma. She's definitely a bunny. She's got these like big pants. She sort of reminds me of Mr. Tumnus. More strawberries because they're cute and she does not smell like chocolate. Let's see if I can't hitch these trousers up a bit. Yeah, they're just weird, but I like that. Okay, I've cleared enough room that I can now access some more Tsums. Starting with Piglet, I guess. He's fine. He's like, I think the reason that I wanted to get a Piglet is because I wanted to throw him on the floor. He can stay there. I think the reason I wanted to get a piglet is because I wanted to have like a piglet chocolate and a regular piglet. And he is cute. Pigs are cute. Maybe my tastes have just changed. Am I in a bad mood right now? He's such a little whiner. But he supports Pooh. No, piglet's a good friend. I like him. Yeah, and, P and pigs are cute. He's cute. I think what it is is that I'm not in love with piglet the character, but I'm not in love with Donald Duck the character either. I'm in love with Donald the Soon. But it has warmed me up to Donald the character. Before, I wouldn't have given him the time of day. 
Now I'm like, hey, I know him. Which might have been the point of them making these Tsum Tsums. It could have just been a situation where they recognized the animation style in these old characters is not really as appealing to as many people nowadays. So maybe they gave them this like cheapification to soften out the edges in, in, in a few different ways. Food for thought. I love you. I'm sorry about before. That was weird. Here's an Easter Donald. He's dressed as a rabbit. He's very fluffy. Like, sort of excessively fluffy. But, not really. More is more. I think he has an extra good face. Very cute. Well done, buddy. Oh, yes. Okay. So, this is a summertime Donald. He's on a surfboard, and he has a luxurious mane of, of Southern California hair. Hair. Like, you know, you know when they used to, they used to do, I mean, they might probably still do it, but you know, like acrobatics on a surfboard, you'd have the strong man on the bottom, then the bikini babes on top. I don't, maybe that was just something they did for photo shoots. Listen, I, I just like it. He definitely looks weird and a little cheap, but it's just, it's perfect anyway. Here's Pluto. He's just so much cuter in Zoom form than regular form. But look, they still gave him that weird thing on his head, that weird ruff, that like skin fold, that like jelly roll. They like, they got it, but it's just, it's so much less offensive in this form. I think his ears are super cute and his little tail is just perfect. Cute, 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 cute. I still haven't taken the tags off of these guys or separated them. My dad got me these when we went to New York last year. That was one year ago. That was such a good time. Minnie loves New York and Mickey is dressed up as the Big Apple. Yeah, these make me really happy. Mwah. Here's Daisy in her Easter Bunny onesie again ridiculously fluffy, but also incredibly cute. I don't think I pointed this out on the other one. The bunnies have faces. A lot of the onesies, maybe all of the onesies have faces. See, two faces. And um, where's, yeah, okay. And the chicken, two faces, two. And here's another Easter one, the two faces. This one's so excessive. This is Donald, who is a duck, inside a chicky onesie, and the chicky is still partially inside of an egg. This is actually great. I'm gonna leave this out. I might throw this in my purse. This, this is what I need right now. Look at that punum. Yeah, just, so. It's a look. Here's Daisy from the Valentine's Day box. Love this color combo. You've got the mint, you've got the chocolate, and you've got the pink. Like, that's perfect. She has been sitting against one of the chocolate thingies because she smells like chocolate. Oh, look at her little face. She's so cute. And here we have the mini from the most recent Valentine's Day one that I got. They might have done one this year. I wasn't paying attention. Again, money. So potent. So very potent. Like, <clears throat> Concerningly potent, but so cute, so adorable. Just a little chocolate dipped strawberry. So I got Maleficent as a child watching Sleeping Beauty. It was clear to me that Maleficent was being treated unfairly. Literally everybody got invited to the party. Everybody got invited to the party, except her. And I do not know the history and I do not subscribe to the canon of the live action Maleficent movie, but like, if I were a king and queen of a land, a magical land where there are like some pretty powerful people, I would invite them to the party that everybody's invited to. And I would hire like interference, you know? Like get a team of 15 people to like take her around and just like mediate everything, make sure she's always got a drink in her hand, give her some little canapes. Honestly, even if Maleficent did do something wrong, and I'm sure she didn't, other than maybe poten potentially steal, hoard treasure, eat princesses. I don't know, we can't say for sure. I just don't know why you wouldn't want someone like this on your side. When she's in a people form, she's fashionable as fuck. And when she's in dragon form, she's, she's like green fire, purple and black, wow. She's got a whole crew of goblin cronies. They're hilarious. There's a crow, sassy. 
Same thing over on Lion King. Scar should have been given something other than a title. They should have given him some sort of role so he could still feel involved. People are just, they're not diplomatic and they don't have foresight. If you had Scar in the office every day running Parks and Rec, he'd be so much happier. Maybe not Parks and Rec. Maybe like Hydro. I don't know. I don't Ask him, you know? People just, they don't try in Disney movies. They just, they label and they just exclude and they create the problems. Once a year, that's all you need to do. Just once a year, send her a letter, be like, hey buddy, sweet, nice to see you're staying in your castle. That's working out great for us. Like, here's some fruit. <sighs> I'm, I'm describing my dream life right now. Just like a healthy fear, uh, a respect from my peers, and an edible bouquet once a year. And to be invited to your daughter's party. Bullseye! Bullseye is a horse from Toy Story. And this is a great way to see a horse. Just low rider slam to the ground. And the snoot is just, there's no way, he's so top heavy. And look, look at his saddle, it's perfect. They did a great job on this. I often complain about how they do, uh, and I say that they should hire me to sign off on everything, or better yet, hire me to give them the ideas. But at the very least, they could send me $30 and some blueprints and I'll either say yes, cute, or no, don't do it. If they if they had done that, Tsum Tsums would still be so popular right now. But they didn't, and now here we are. Ooh, what's this horse's name? This horse has a very Maximus, yes, from Tangled. He is the horse uh, with the heart of a detective and the body of a horse. I, again, I just really, really like how they make horses into Tsum Tsums. I think, I think they really nailed it. Here we have Mr. Rabbit. It's the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Couldn't, couldn't not get him. A, because he's a rabbit, and B, because he's the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. He's in his red waistcoat. He's got his albino bunny eyes and his little little spectacles. This is a very good Tsum Tsum, I'm sure you'll agree. Uncle Scrooge. Look how great he is. Look at him in his little robe, but he's still got his hat and his little spectacles. This is, this is one of the best ones I have. Look at these mutton chops. They knocked this one out of the park. They really nailed it. Mwah, I love you. Here we have Eeyore in a pumpkin. The Eeyore is so cute. Look at his little pink bow. I think they did a great job just making him seem like himself. He's got that sort of cute horse aesthetic, but they still made him look like a mule, which I think is great. Is Eeyore a mule or a donkey? Either way. He's very cute. Here is the daisy year of the rooster. As you can see, uh, she <laughs> she's got a little mouth. Uh, her beak her beak didn't come out right, but <laughs> cracks me up, so I'm, I'm okay with it. She's gonna doing duck mouth, but like a subtle duck lip, a classy duck lip. Here we have a winky daisy in a ghost onesie. Got some stars on the butt. Got a tongue sticking out. I think the sticky outy tongue and the winky daisy go together really well. It's extra sassy. I really love this lavender, this sort of like smoky purple. I'm very particular about lavender. I can't wear it because my skin is too pink. So regardless of, of what type of lavender I wear, it just pulls the pink right out and I just feel like I'm like flushed. But it is one of my favorite colors to look at. And Daisy, you look great in it. So, you know, stick to it. Here is a Halloween Donnell and uh, it takes a little while to explain. So here you can see he's like, you know, he's got one eyebrow. He is in like a little bat. So this is that bat sort of thing, bat demon imp thing. And then he's got like pumpkin pants, but a devil tail. He's serving a look for sure but he is nailing it. And he's got like a little pitchfork cutie mark. Like this is great Japan exclusive. 
really worth the shipping, I'm sure you'll agree. Here is Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. I was so excited for the Nightmare Before Christmas Zoom Zooms to get released, but they sold out like so fast. They were hard to get in Canada. Like any any popular Zoom Zooms in Canada, it was hard to do. They just don't, they don't stock our stores because there aren't very many of us, let's face it. So I wasn't able to get one, but then for my birthday, I got one. Uh, and it was funny because it was wrapped in a jar. So like I got this jar and it was wrapped and I was like, bath salts? I don't know. So not, not like the drug, like I literally mean like a bath bomb. And then I opened it up and it was zero, and that was a great day for me. Sometimes they draw zero as having a little pumpkin on his nose. I wish they would do that more often. And finally, we have a sleepy Donald. This is from Japan, I got him in Tokyo Disney. He's so cute, he makes me relax just looking at him. Maybe I should, no, no, you earned your spot there. We'll get to you later. This is the heart thingy that the chocolatey guys came in. See, they just glue in there. And then you can hang it up and put it on your Valentine's Day tree. I also have two Ufufi, the mouse from Dumbo, cause he he's my military circus aesthetic. And Donald, because little egg boy. These guys are also scented, like apple blossom, they called it. Just smells sweet. Uh, they are a very good squish and like, Good, good hand feel. I also have a billion Tsum Tsum lip glosses from Lip Smackers. I keep them around the house because I always like to have my lips covered in some sort of protective shield. Mmm, peanut butter. And I also have this cute little Donald toy thing. He sits in a life preserver. He's just like a little vinyl toy. I was cat sitting a cat once and she was obsessed with this. She would find it no matter where I put it. She would find it. She would take him out and leave the preserver and she would stuff him under the carpet in my kitchen. This is a very, very specific behavior and I, I want to know, like I want to know what she was thinking. Cause it, like so much effort, so much care to just extract the Donald and then take him and just tuck him under the rug and then leave it, leave it completely. And I would go and I'd put him away and I'd see her like, what are you doing? She's so adamant about it. Such a good cat. And since they're here, let's just look at them. We have a Korolakuma as a deer. She's got little hooves, which I, oh, I really like it. It is behooved to me. We have the best Halloween Korolakuma. She's got this onesie. She's got the imp headband. She's got little wings. She's got a huge lollipop. Like, I would wear this. I wish I could wear this. We have her Rilakuma counterpart. He's a ghost. There's a bat on his butt. He's holding a little pumpkin purse. Gosh, she's really cute. We have space Korolakuma. Her helmet comes off and it's like really yellow. This is plastic and it's just old. So like it's it's gotten super, you know, you know how that happens with plastic. Oh no, she's gonna suffocate. Oh, she made it. And we have a merpoosh, which is, wow. It's as good today as it was the day I got it. Really good shape, nice and chubby. That excellent color combo of the mint and pink. Got a starfish in her hair, pooshin. Always a pleasure. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for taking some time to just mellow out, not do anything important. I do want to start making some videos again, take a little bit more effort. I've just been very, very focused on getting my career to the place where I'd like it. And I think I'm in a really good place right now. Obviously, the majority of my effort is gonna be focused on really proving myself for this internship. I have so many ideas and Pretty much all my energy is gonna be going towards that. As a creative person, if you're choosing to make a living off of your creativity, you still have to find outlets though, and making videos is really important to me. But I just hope you'll continue to be understanding with the fact that right now I'm just really trying to build stability for myself. The past year has been extremely difficult, but I've been so happy to put the work in, and I really feel like I'm approaching the light at the end of the tunnel. Still have a long way to go, but 
I know I can do it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them for me below in the comments. And for another slice of cake, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Cake Calamity. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again after not too long. Bye!